Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. I hope you're having a good evening, good day, good afternoon, and I hope you have a nice dram with you. Because uh, tonight we're review reviewing the Balvini 12-year-old Double Woods. Again, I have a small sample of it. Uh, I'll put the bottle up right there. Now, Balvini Double Wood is a 12-year-old uh, Speyside whiskey, and um, David Stewart, their master distiller, is uh, is kind of renowned for bringing forth this technique we now call wood finishing. So what this one does is the 12-year-old whiskey, well, the whiskeys uh, distilled at the Balvini Distillery, aged in ex-bourbon barrels for 12 years, and then they're taken and put into ex Oloroso sherry casks uh, for about nine more months and then they're vatted uh, because I think they took take some of them and they're vatted in in a ton uh, it's like a massive massive uh, barrel like a big pool and uh, so they marry together for about three four months and this is called a double wood now there are, uh, I'll just show you the quick bottle like this. I'll just put it up there, it's just so you can see. Now, um, there are conflicting things on the internet. Now, this is 43% ABV, this one, this little sample. And there's 40% ABV versions as well. And what I found was, um, I, they're both color added, is what I found online. But it says that 43% ABV one is non-chill filtered. And the 40% one is chill filtered. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't find it properly. Someone said they asked Balvini and uh, Balvini said there's no color added. But on certain websites, that says color added. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is non-color added and non-chill filtered just because of all the information I could find. Please let me know if you know something else definitely. Uh, now, why do we bang on about chill filtration? Chill filtration is uh, an aesthetic thing uh, aimed for the mass consumers, not for you and I. Uh, because when whiskies that are bottled about under 46% ABV, uh, when they're cooled or added water, they get haziness, they get cloudiness, and it looks undesirable for people who are not in know. Uh, chill filtration gets rid of these fatty acids and esters that make this cloudiness. So however water you put in it or however cold you make that whiskey, if it's chill filtered, it's going to stay exactly the same color, same um, opaqueness or whatever you want to call it. It won't get hazy or cloudy. Uh, whiskies above 46% ABV don't require chill filtering because of that reason. You can you can still do it. It's not it's not a must, but when they're cold, they won't get that cloudiness. But of course, if you drop the ABV, then you will if it's on chill filtered. It's just seen something as desirable. Chill filtration seems something as desirable for the mass consumer because it doesn't look bad. It looks good even with water in it. In it, but it is an undesirable thing for whiskey enthusiasts who believe that it should be natural and uh, they believe there's a different mouthfeel when it's chill filtered. Um, they, we, I, me. Uh, because you get rid of those fatty acids and esters. You don't get the natural product. Anyway, right, on to the whiskey. So we know it's ex-bourbon barrels and then finished in uh, ex-Oloroso seasoned, uh, well, all or Oloroso seasoned sherry casks. It's a space side whiskey. It should be light, floral, uh, orchard fruits. Uh, let's have a go. Light, floral, floral orchard fruits. <laughs> right. Caramel. Uh, very sweet. Malty. The sherry sweetness is there. Raisins. A little bit of black pepper. Oh, cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, cooked fruits, cooked apple, apple pie, cookies, um, allspice, caster sugar, 
Oh, what's that? What's that? Little hint of smoke. Very little. But, you know, faint. Yeah, vanilla, sugar, through and through, honey, massive honey, caramel, light bodied, very sweet nose, very, very sweet nose. It's a perfect, perfect blend of uh, Oloroso Sherry and ex American, uh, you know, bourbon barrels. Uh, I think they nailed it. Nothing is overpowering, it smells so balanced. Mm. Let's go on to the palette. Honey, raisins, um, oak spice, mm. oh yeah, maple syrup, cream, cookies, butterscotch, baked apple tart with cinnamon, allspice. The finish is dry, goes on pretty quickly, medium to short. 43% is good. Uh, I had the 40% before and um, kind of prefer this one. Higher the ABV, higher the flavors. That's how it goes. Yeah, very candy, very sweet forward nose and continues on the palate. Malty, quite malty, mouth coating, oak spice is there, but it's mostly caramel and sweet and, and baking, you know, baking goods, baked, baked tarts, baked um, pies, uh, very creamy, vanilla ice cream, uh, brandy cream, beautiful, easy. Now, Balvini is seen as the um, the entry whiskey for non-whiskey drinkers. I have yet to try a Balvini that I didn't like. And uh, it's very hard for someone who's not a whiskey drinker. When you give them a Balvini 12 double wood, it's just kind of become a, um, uh, you know, staple whiskey that uh, you introduce your friends to if they're non-whiskey drinkers. And they do, they do really, really like it. And I can see why it's uh, it's not massively complicated, but it has a true character. So you can appreciate what's happening, but you can also enjoy it very, very easily. Now, Balvini, like the Macallans, are a bit of a uh, weird one uh, because they are not cheap. Uh, they do use good casks and that's why, what their forte is but they don't necessarily give you great specs. They kind of stay around 40 to 43% ABV. So you don't really get that, uh, you know, the whiskey drinkers whiskey thing, but massive fans out there for both of them. I prefer Balvini over McAllen's because of uh, McAllen's, um, you know, just overtly way too much marketing uh, techniques. So uh, they just made a name for themselves and uh, it sells. So, you know, as a company, great. As a whiskey producer, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, they're not bad, obviously, but are they integrity malts, as Ralphie would say? I don't know. Anyway, guys, this is has been a simple one because it's intended to be and uh, do go enjoy it. I think they may start changing these things i'm hearing that uh, balvini is gonna change their core range but uh, this has been on for ever i think since 1993 um, it's really good if you like light floral and uh, fruity whiskeys that's not gonna complicate your evening that's not gonna challenge you this is a really really good one uh, cheers from me if you like this video, please hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. That makes me very happy. And um, with that out of the way, cheers. Have a good evening. Slanja.